Hello viewers, uh, welcome back to the course on scientific computing using MATLAB. So in the previous lecture we have started with the Simpson rule and uh, today we will continue with that one. So in the previous lecture we have started doing the integration for the function from A to B fx dx and then we have approximated the function fx with p2x dx plus the i terms. So, this one we have started with. Now, then I know that the p2x was the second degree Lagrangian interpreting polynomial that was x is equal to x1 and this is equal to x0, x2 x1 minus x0, y1 plus this is x minus x1, x2 minus x0, x2 minus x1, y2. So, this is we have started, then we wanted to do the integration of x0 to x2 of this factor. So, this factor we started with the transformation that is x is equal to x0 plus pH and then dx is equal to h dp x minus x1 can be written as h p minus 1, x minus x2 can be written as h p minus 2 and so on. So, this is we have done in the previous one. So, from here I can write down that this integration. So, y0 can be written like this x0 minus x1 is minus h, x0 minus x2 is minus 2h and inside I will get x minus x1, x minus x2 and dx. So, this part can be written as y0, so minus and minus, so it is 2h square and this one I can say that when x is equal to x0, p will be 0, when x is equal to x2, p is equal to 2. So, from here I can write that this is equal to h p minus 1 into h p minus 2 and dx is h dp. So, this value I am getting. So, from here I will get y0 h h and h this h I can take common. So, I can write h q by 2 h square from 0 to 2 p minus 1 p minus 2 d p. So, this integration I need to find out. So, this h square will go with this. Now, from here I can write that this is equal to y naught by 2 and then integration of this one. So, this is 0 to 2 I can write this as a p square minus 3 p plus 2 d p. So, this will be equal to y naught by 2 into h. So, this h will come and then I will do the integration of this one. So, this will be p q by 3 minus 3 p square by 2 plus 2 p from 0 to 2 and if I put the 2 here, so this will be y naught h by 2. So, this will be 2 raised to power 3 that will be 8. So, 8 minus 8 by 3 minus, so it will be 4. So, 12 by 2 
plus 4 minus 0. So, I will get this value and from here you will see that this is the 6 LCM. So, if you see this one, I will get the value y naught h by 2 and inside I will get 8 by 3 minus 6 plus 4, 8 by 3 minus 6 plus 4. So, it is minus 2, so it will be y naught h by 2, so this is minus 2, so minus 6, 8, so it will be 2 by 3. So, this will cancel out and I will get h by 3 y naught. So, I will get this value. Similarly, I can go for the next integration from x naught to x 2, x minus x naught, x minus x 2, x 1 minus x naught, x 1 minus x 2 and y 1 dx. So, this I will get and from here the same way we can find out. So, this will become y 1 I can take common, this will be h y x 1 minus x naught is h, x 1 minus x 2 is minus h right from 0 to 2, x minus x naught is p h, x minus x 2 is p minus 2 h, d x is h d p. So, I will get this value. So, from here I will get minus y 1 over h square, this h h h will come common. So, multiply by h cube from 0 to 2. So, I will get p p minus 2 d p. So, this is the integration we are going to get. So, from here you can say that this will be minus, so this will cancel out with this. So, it will be h y 1 and then integration this will be p square. So, it will be p q by 3 minus 2 p square by 2 0. So, minus h y 1. So, this is 8 by 3. So, this will cancel out minus 4. So, this is so, it is a 12 minus 12 plus 8 minus 4 by 3. So, this will be minus h y 1 into minus 4 by 3, right. So, from here this will cancel out. So, it will be 4 h by 3 y 1. Similarly, we can find out x 0 to x 2, x minus x 0 x minus x 1, x 2 minus x 0, x 2 minus x 1, y 2 d x. So, the same way we can find out by all this substitution. So, it will get will get the value here, this will be y 2 divided by 2 h into h right from 0 to 2. Now, x minus x naught is p h, x minus x 1 is p minus 1 h, then h d p. So, it will be y 2 into h cube by 2 h square from 0 to 2 p p minus 1 d p. So, this will cancel out and if you do the calculation again, so it will be y 2 over y 2 over 2 into h and the integration will be p into p p square. So, it will be p cube by 3 minus p square by 2 from 0 to 2. So, it will be 8 by 3. So, h 
y 2 by 2. So, this will be 8 by 3 minus 4 by 2 and from here it will be 2, 6, so 2 by 3. So, it will see that will be h y 2 by 3. So, that is the value we are going to get. So, now from here if I take the integration from x naught to x 2 my p 2 x d x then this will become h by 3 y naught plus 4 h by 3 y 1 plus h by 3 y 2. And now from here I can take h by 3 common. So, I will get y 0 plus 4 y 1 plus y 2. So, this is the integration we are going to get when we approximate with the second order interpolating polynomial, second degree interpolating polynomial. So, in this case I am getting h by 3. So, this is called Simpson one third rule because you will getting 1 by 3. So, h by 3. So, this is a Simpson one third rule. So, now from here I am getting the solution of the integral. Now, let us uh, do the find out the error. So, the error in this case will be from x naught to x 2, this is equal to x minus x naught, x minus x 1, x minus x 2, third derivative xi over 3 factorial <coughs> and then this is equal to d x we are getting, where xi is lying between x 0 to x 2. Now, from here I can add this as 3 factorial from here. So, this is basically 6, so I can write this as 3 factorial 6. Now, this integration I can again take the substitution that x is equal to x naught plus p h. So, from here I know that this is equal to 0 to 2 okay. x minus x naught is a p h, this is p minus 1 h, this is p minus 2 h and this is h d p. So, this will get. So, from here I will get h h h h. So, 4 power of h third derivative xi over 6 from 0 to 2. So, this will be p p minus 1 p minus 2 d p and then from here if I do the integration I will get. So, I will get here just uh, make it simplified. So, this is p square. So, it will be p cube. It is a minus 3 p. So, it is a minus 3 p square and then it is plus 2 plus 2 p. So, this will I will get and now from here I will get h raised to power 4 by 6. then it will be integration p 4 by 4 minus 3 p cube by 3 plus 2 p square by 2 0 to 2. And if I further simplify, then it will be um, 16 by 4 so, it is 4 minus, so this 3 will cancel out minus 8, do this 2 will cancel out plus 4, that is it. And this is uh, 0, so that becomes 0. So, in this case if you see, then the error is coming 0. So, that shows that So, it means that 
if I choose the this error and you know that this is a cubic polynomial if you multiply x minus x naught x minus x 1 x minus 2. So, that is the cubic polynomial. So, in this case it is giving the error 0. So, which implies that that Simpson one third rule gives exact solution exact solution or integration exact integration I should write exact integration not only for quadratic polynomial, but also for cubic polynomial. So, in this case it is also giving the exact integral for the cubic polynomial. So, in this it means that it is going to give the error for the polynomial having the degree greater than 3. So, in this case what you do? So, let us say let us define the error so in this case I define that the R x first. So, R x first I take x minus x naught, x minus x 1, x minus x 2 and x minus x r that x r can be x 0, x 1, x 2 into some function of some function of xi. So, in this case we generally take that x r we take at the middle point. So, from here we can choose my x is equal to x naught x minus x 1 square x minus x 2. So, this we choose and then this is the fourth derivative by 4 factorial. So, that is the remainder term in the case of uh, quadratic polynomial. So, now we do the integration and finding the error. So, the error in this case will be integration from x 0 to x 2 r x d x. So, this will be f 4 by 24 x 0 to x 2 x minus x 0 d x. So, let us see what will happen whether it is going to give the error for this because this is a if you see it is a fourth degree polynomial. So, now I want to find out what is going to happen with this one. Now, the same thing I will choose that let x is equal to x is equal to x p no p h then I will get my error. So, this will be f fourth derivative by 24 0 to 2. So, in this case it will be 0 to 2. Now, x minus x naught is p h then x minus x 1 whole square. So, it is h square p minus 1 square and then it is h p minus 2 then h d p. So, this is I am going to get. Now, from here I will get 24. So, h h square h and h. So, 5 h. So, h raised to power 5 will come out and then I will get 0 to 2 p p minus 1 whole square into p minus 2 d p. 
So, this value we are going to get. Now, if you further solve this one, I am getting 0 to 2. So, this will be <coughs> p p square plus 1 minus 2 p into p minus 2 d p and this will be p square minus 2 p I will calculate. So, if you do the calculation for this integration, you can do the calculation for this the same way, you will get the value this is this will come out as minus h raised per 5 by 90, where xi lies between x 0 to x 2. So, this calculation you can do they will get the 90 value. So, from here I can say that this is my error divided by 5 90. So, from here I can say that that the error will be, so this method is going to give the error whenever we are dealing with the function whose fourth derivative is non-zero. So, it is up to the cubic polynomial the error was 0, but if you if you have a function with the fourth degree, then some error will be introduced and this is the error in the case of Simpson one third rule. Now, so let us uh, go for composite rule. Simpson one third composite formula. So, in the composite formula what we are going to do is, so let us do on the next page. I have the function. So, suppose this function is this. Sorry. This is x is equal to a, this is x is equal to b. Now, I split this into the sub intervals with the nodal values. So, this is my x 0, x 1, x 2, x 3, x n minus 1, x n, x n minus 2 and so on. Now, what I do is that instead of taking the, the one quadratic polynomial for the whole function, I will split this one into the sub intervals and then what I do is that 1, 2, 3. So, this 3 value I choose. So, this is the function I have. So, I approximate this function with a quadratic this one. The next function is from here to here. So, I will approximate this function with this quadratic. Then I will choose this one and I will write this one. Then I will find out this value and approximate by this function. And in the end I will approximate this function by this quadratic polynomial. So, by this way we have a quadratic polynomial in the pieces. So, from here I can say that the integration from a to b f x d x. So, this is my integration I am going to do. So, this will be equal to x 0 to x 2 f x d x plus x 2. So, x 2 x 3 x 4. So, it will be x 4 f x d x and so on and the end I will get. So, I will get x n minus 2 to x n f x d x. So, in this case one thing is that that if I am to choose 3, 3 points, so 3 points this one, 
then next 1 and 2, 2 points more, so 5, then 2 points more 7. So, from here I can say that the number of points, nodal points should be odd. So, it should be 3, 5, 7, 9, greater than 1, definitely of course, greater than 1. So, from here I can say that n should be even, because when the n is even, the n plus 1 points will be the odd. So, that is the criteria. So, n should be 2m always, the even value. Only then we can apply the composite formula for Simpson one third rule. And from here I can say that this is represented by this polynomial, interpolating polynomial. So, from here I can say that now I will use the formula. So, this is the value we are going to get. So, it is h by 3 y naught y 1 y 2 multiplied by 4. So, this one I am going to use. So, h by 3. So, h is b minus a by n. So, this is my h. Now, this is the formula y 0 plus 4 times y 1 plus y 2. Now, the next interval it will be h by 3. Now, y 2 is coming here because this is the connecting node. So, you note this is the node. So, that is the connecting node. So, here I am getting y 2 plus 4 times y 5, y 2 sorry y 3 and y 4. So, 2, 2, 3, 4 then plus h by 3 then y 4 plus 4 times y 5 plus y 6 and so on and in the end I will get h by 3 y n minus 2 plus 4 times y n minus 1 plus y n. So, this is the composite formula for the Simpson. Now, if I add collect the all the terms I can take my h by 3 common. Now, you can see that y 0 here it is coming. Now, y 1 4 y 1 4 y 3 4 y 5 this is coming y 2 is coming here and y 2 is coming here. So, from here I can write that this will equal to y naught plus 4 times the odd values. So, y 1 plus y 3 plus y 5 in the end I will get y n minus 1 <coughs> plus 2 times the even value y 2 plus y 4 y 6 y n minus 2 because this is the connecting node. So, this is the connecting node basically. So, connecting node is this. So, where are the connecting node is there? I will get 2 times of that one plus the last term that is y n. So, this is the integration of the function So, this is the Simpson one third rule composite rule for the gain function. So, in this case what we will do? I will find out the h that h we can find from here then y naught plus 4 times we have to do this odd values plus 2 times we have to do with the even value that is the interior values plus y n. So, y naught and y n that is the boundary point we know that the value of the function there only we have to take the internal values odd and even and multiply by 4 or 2. So, that is the solutions for, so this is the Simpson one third composite rule. So, from here I can define the same way we can define the error. So, I can define the total error. So, total error I know that we can multiply by n. So, the same way I can take 
multiply by n into h raised to power 5 by 90 f fourth derivative xi where xi is from x0 to xn. So, the same way this we can choose the maximum. So, first we choose the maximum error in any of the interval and then we just multiply by n. So, that will take as a total error. So, this is basically upper bound for the total error in the Simpson one third rule. So, this is the formula for the total error. So, we will uh, stop here. So, today we have discussed that the Simpson one third rule we derive the formula for that and then we have discussed the composite one third rule and the errors corresponding to this. So, in the next lecture we will continue with this one. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks very much. Thank you.